You got a mask and a week. Hey, welcome to my third video. What is the story with online dating? Since my first video about the guy I was texting, a few people mailed me and asked me, how did I meet Paul? I, I don't care now, like, if you think this is Mart, but like, whatever, like, we met on Tinder. You got a match. I don't know what you think now, like, but I think personally that dating nowadays has become so much more stressful than what it was before. Hello? Siobhan, I meet that fella off Tinder tonight. <laughs> My fucking nerves. Like, I mean, before you went on about two dates and you married the second fella and you were only about 22. Eh, uh, it's not fucking funny, Siobhan. <sighs> I'm gonna get sick. Oh my god. Now, like, everyone's out there testing the waters. Like. Hmm, he's not bad, actually. Like. Eh, uh, Jesus, what age you? About 85. Get off Tinder, you perv. Dislike. Fuck. Say. So like the biggest problem we feel then is the, like the fear of the unknown Whereas before you would have got talking to them in the bar So at least you both know what each other like is like and what each other looks like You're just judging each other practically on profile pictures I am and really looking at my photos Because I don't even bother clicking into the profile to read it half the time <sighs> I don't know like, I mean like what if he's an Egypt? What if it's not him in the pictures? What if he's a psychopath? And like, this is where we come to the next problem because you don't know what he thinks about you. So like, you're stressed out thinking like, oh my God, what if my pictures are better looking than I am? But like, obviously I have like no fear there. I just mean for some people, do you know what I mean? So then like, you end up spending hours trying to decide on what to wear because you don't want to like give off the wrong impression or something. Stress. Uh, what do you think it is for like a kind of like a boob tube thing? Um, do you think these are too short? Can't do. You can like roll it up as well. Like, it's lovely outside, like, isn't it? The night of the day, then you're actually like a nervous wreck, you can't even function. Oh my god, girl, I'm so stressed. Eh, uh, shut up, Siobhan, it's not funny. It's grand for you, like, you have a boyfriend. I've so much Sally Hansen on now, I'm like a fucking Oompa Loompa. And then, like, to make things worse, then you have your mum and your dad in your ear, then being freaked out about online dating, thinking you're gonna get kidnapped. Eh, uh, Geraldine, why are you going on a date with a stranger? Dad, everyone does it like. Mom, what did you tell Dad for? I just think it's a bit dangerous going on a date with a stranger. Alright, Mom, whatever. Just go away, I'm too stressed. Uh, to make things even worse then, you need to ring each other to arrange where you're going to meet, what you're both going to be wearing, where you're going to be sitting at the bar, the whole lot. Hello? Hey, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm nearly ready there now. Yeah, um, like, I'll sit at the bar, I'll be kind of wearing like a purple top and my hair will be up on like a bun. Don't even go there now. The amount of times that I went on a date and went up to the wrong guy in the bar. Hey, you Paul, is it? Sorry, but I'm mortified. Fucking scarlet. And uh, the last thing is you have to be careful of what impression you're giving off. Thanks to some dirty Egypts then. The lads think that they can get their bit on Tinder. But honestly, like, one of my first dates I went on then, it was all going lovely, and the lad leans right up into me and he says, Do you want to go down the alleyway? Eh, uh, what? Forget about it. You dirty fucking basket away. So, eh, uh, the next time now your phone beeps and you get a match. Just think about the stress you have to go to for one fucking day. Thanks a million for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe now and pop me a mail and tell me all about your online dating stories if you wanna. No, Siobhan, shut up. I mean, I don't even know what he looks like. What if he's a weirdo? I don't even know how tall he is. I'm 24, like, and I'm still single. I can't be dealing with this, like, fuck's sake.